Santos, all that and much more as Quick Pitch presented by DraftKings Sportsbook starts now. Third stop Jeremy Pena has been more than up to the task of replacing Carlos Correa. And on Sunday, he put an end to Jordan Romano's 31 consecutive save streak. Pena is the first Astros rookie to hit a walk-off home run since 2011. Up next, it's the Red Sox. Just for fans who had an ugly on-field exchange with the Guardians, but for Garrett Cole, who was coming off the shortest start of his career. Overall, the starting rotation has been solid, posting a 287 ERA entering the series finale, but the $324 million ace had yet to post a signature start. And in his words, he was too consumed with tossing perfect pitches instead of attacking the zone. Well, Cole may have given up his pursuit of perfection, but he came pretty close on Sunday. Let's check to one player more than Byron Buxton. The twin star returned to center field on Saturday for the first time since April 15th after mending a knee injury. The results, Buxton went four for four with a homer and three runs. On Sunday, he followed up that performance by going the yard twice and coming up clutch by belting a moonshot deep. And I mean, really really deep the major league lead with six home runs and those homers haven't been cheapies either his game ending blast on sunday was the longest walk-off shot since the start of stat cast tracking in 2015. in his last 24 starts with a 178 era and his 20 strikeouts without issuing a walk are the second most among pitchers this season and you can't spell kershaw without k the veteran is closing in on history on Sunday, 6K shy of the franchise record, trailing only Don Sutton. Let's check out the highlights. Steal of the offseason when they signed Jock Peterson to a one-year $6 million deal this past March. After slugging two home runs from the leadoff spot on Sunday, Peterson is batting 364 with a 750 slugging percentage through his first 13 games as a Giant. Runners have quietly climbed to first in the AL West, but if you've had a chance to watch the M's, they're letting their play on field speak volumes, winning seven of their last nine games and plating 56 runs over that span. The 13 runs scored on Saturday, a season high, and Ty France was responsible for five of those, a career high. After narrowly missing the postseason last year, they look to finally be on their way to ending their 21-year playoff drought. The baseball world took notice when 38-year-old Joey Votto joined social media right before opening day this year. And wouldn't you know it, the Reds are undefeated when Votto posts a TikTok this season. Unfortunately, he's only posted two. The last one coming on April 10th. Since then, the Reds have lost 11 straight and own the worst record in Major League Baseball. So what did Votto do to get his team back in the win column on Sunday? The most logical thing. He posted this new video with the caption, apparently we are 2-0 when I do a TikTok. We need a win ASAP. What a day around MLB. Some great plays, including this one right here. Now it's time for the rest of the Capital One premier plays of the night. Terry Appreciation Sundays are a staple at Petco Park, but this Sunday was even more special for starting pitcher Sean Manaya. He was greeted on the mound by his brother Dane, who was in the Navy and stationed at nearby Camp Pendleton. The two hugged it out, and as with tradition, Sean handed Dane a signed ball. I would imagine that he's already got a couple, but that one has to be even more special and more meaningful because it's just the second time he's seen his brother pitch a big league game. So Dane, thank you for your service and thanks for hanging out with us on Quick Pitch.